folks, this is our second attempt, actually our third attempt, at uh, getting a start off for race one. Uh, the race was abandoned earlier this morning, big shift in the breeze. Of course now 180 at 1.5 miles down the bay. And as you can see, we've got current. Look at the flags in the signal boat. Interesting geometry here, the current going very strongly, right to left, sorry, left to right. Conditions were challenging for this year's 59 boat fleet for the J70 North American Championship, hosted by the Annapolis Yacht Club. Strong tides and generally light wind was in order for all four days. Day one ended up as an exercise in futility with a false start leading to an abandoned race. The day was capped off by a final race where less than half the fleet made the time limit. That race too was abandoned. Well, we've got uniform flag up for the second attempt at our first start of the day. That's a heavy penalty to pay if anybody's inside the triangle at one minute. And there's the start. Day two is a different story, with three quality races being won by three different boats. In the first race, Dark Energy quickly established the lead right off the starting line. Laura Grunden, Taylor Canfield, Scott Ewing, and Hayden Goodrick Part of the Dark Energy team has just done a great job of leading the pack up the third beat in this race. And they've got a pretty good lead here. And one more leg to go. Grandin and crew went wire to wire for the victory. 20 seconds to go, everybody lining up. We've got a uniform flag up again. That's gonna keep everybody back. Little bit of current and breeze is pretty good. Eight to 10 knots. More or less in the same direction, maybe a little further right. Here it comes, final seconds. And there's a start. Terry Hutchinson, valve 41, doing a fantastic job. Shagging a few shifts on the top to get himself ahead of the pack. This is gonna be huge, because there's a big wall of boats behind him. In race two, Terry Hutchinson, with co-owner Jen Norwood Wolf, Gil Hackle and Joe Morris battled their way around the race course for the victory. Match racing at the top of the speed, Terry Hutchinson, bow 41, putting in a tight lee bow, oh, able to swing his stern across the bow of 59. This is a dogfight for this leg. Terry Hutchinson, Jen Norwood Wolf, Dan Morris and Scott Nixon, and Gil Hackle have all done a great job. They scored their first bullet in race two in the series. Bow 63, the Rowdy teams, owns the pin end. Now, keep in mind, Breeze has been marching right all day long. They started at the pin end, they've controlled this fleet throughout the beat, and are first at the mark. In race three, and what would be the final race of the regatta, Richard Weitzel, Ian Liberty, Michael Menninger, and Nick Bear took line honors. Next around, Murder Hornet, another local team doing extremely well, and boy, is it gonna get crowded here in the top 10. But it was the super consistent sailing by Peter Duncan with Willem Van Way, Carlos Robles, and Victor Diaz de Leon on relative obscurity that would win the regatta overall, posting a 2-3-5. This was, um, it was a great event. We all worked very hard, and you know, it's, it's, it's just great to be sailing again, so thank you very much. In the Corinthian division, it was Zachary Siegel with Ashton Hammerlin, Blake Cabasa, and Luke Lawrence who came away with the victory. So uh, this was a wonderful experience actually to get some uh, low wind um, experience and uh, especially with the currents in play, it was really a steep party. The learning curve for us and it was great uh, to be able to experience that uh, as an up and coming team. In the one pro division, the winner was Doug Rostello's Good To Go with Alex Curtis, Jake Ladeau, and Robert Kinney. Had a great time, did pretty well. Wish we could have done better. And, uh, and I would say this is the first big regatta we've sailed on J70. From Annapolis, this is Ashley Love for T2B TV.